Hey everybody, it's Lauren here from the Cricut team. I'm so excited to be here to make with you as part of our DIY at home series. So what we're gonna make today is I'm gonna show you how to create a concrete rug. You might ask what a concrete rug is, and it's actually where you apply a paint stencil directly onto a concrete slab and it creates a rug effect. It's really cool, it's a fun project, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks on how to make it today. Okay, so let's do a quick tour of all the supplies we're gonna need. We have a long roller, paint roller. Um, the best size for this type of project is 3 8 inch. I also use the Bare Premium Porch and Patio Floor Paint from Home Depot. You've got your concrete filler, so I had a few cracks in my concrete, wanted to fill those. We've got our paint trays, and then this is the best brush for doing the actual stencil. So I'll show you once we actually start making how you're gonna use this brush. Also, this brush is great, the smaller one, for stenciling around the corners. Um, and then finally, this is the brush you're gonna want when you're painting your first coat um, so that when the, because the paint roller is not going to actually reach to the edge so this will give you a nice crisp edge. I'm going to give you a quick tour of our new Craftsman 2800 Max PSI power washer. What's great about this is it's gas powered so it's incredibly strong. You definitely have to do some prep work here before you actually apply your stencil and this is what I used to power wash our back patio concrete slab so that when I apply the paint, it would apply to a really clean surface. One thing I wanted to point out that was confusing to me was actually how to put in the detergent. So you actually just put in this into a, into a, a bucket and then put your detergent in there. We actually used etching solution so that when you put, apply it to the concrete, uh, it will actually help open the pores of the concrete and it will absorb some of your paint better. Anyway, great tool. I'd highly recommend if you're thinking about taking on this project, you can also rent these. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to make sure to create a chalk line, which is a tool that has chalk inside of it because I'm not gonna have the stencil go all the way to the edge. You pull out the string and the string gets chalk on it. Basically take it from one edge to the other edge of your surface, drop it and it creates a perfect straight line before you start your project. So I'm using a painter's tape and I'm making sure that it's completely covered from edge to edge because I'm actually gonna do a stencil that's been essentially enlarged and then I cut it into slices so and cut that on my Cricut machine so I'm actually going to do piece by piece so let's start with the first piece and then I'll show you how to keep going. We're going to take our paintbrush and we're just going to slowly dab the paint onto our stencil and you just keep repeating the same thing. The right brushes are key when you're doing your stencil. I used three different types of brushes for my stencil. I primarily used the large stencil brush to really get the surface of the stencil. And then I use the smaller ones for touch-ups. It's really, really important that you shop around, find the right brush for you. Also make sure you get some paint thinner so that when you're finished with your brushes, because the paint dries really fast because it's outdoor paint, you're gonna wanna drop that into the paint thinner and so that you can save your brushes. Final step is you're going to spray this polyurethane over to kind of seal your stencil. I just put the sealant on it and then I'm going to come back in an hour and seal it one more time. It needs to dry for about an hour in between and then I can put my furniture on. 
It took me about three to four days to complete, but seriously, it made my patio look so much better. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I would say there's three things to really think about before you take on this project. One is you've got to clean your surface really well. You don't want a lot of excess dirt on your surface because your paint won't stick as well. Second, you want to find the right paint. Cement paint is key. It's either cement or patio paint. Uh, it dries really fast and it helps you get more layers quickly done. And then the third is cut extra stencils. That was one thing I realized midway that would have made the process much easier is if I had more stencils cut out. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, we'll answer them in the comments. And thanks for joining us today.